Hello and welcome to how to create a simple dot plot in Excel. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're going to create a dot plot, we're going to format it, and then we're going to compare it to a bar chart. Let's flip over to Excel. Exercise 1. In this first exercise, we're going to go ahead and just create the basic chart. So you select any cell within the data region, and then head to Insert, and then under Charts, we want to pick Line with Markers. Now we have our basic line chart, and all we really need to do now is remove these lines. So how do we do that? We can simply double click, and over on the right, we get the Format Data Series panel. We simply click Fill and Line, and then we basically say, No Line. <laughs> okay, and now we've got it. So that's the basic steps for creating our basic dot plot. Next, we want to talk about a couple of formatting options. Exercise 2. In this exercise, we're going to look at a couple of basic formatting options. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention that charts have a ton of formatting options, so you're definitely going to want to get in and check it out. But for this exercise, we're going to keep it simple and just play with a couple of the formatting options. So the first thing is this vertical axis format. So I'm going to double click this vertical axis. I'm going to head over to number, and I want to change this to a number, and then I want to remove the decimals. And now we have our commas for the thousand separator as desired. The next thing we're going to do is play with grid lines, but I want to show you there's a ton of formatting options. So we select the chart and we click this plus button. And this is how we can toggle on or off many different chart elements. For example, we can check this on or off, turn on or off the axis titles. We can turn on or off the chart title, the data labels. We can turn off the grid lines and you get the idea. So depending on what you're working on, you're going to want to play with these different chart elements. The next thing we could do is we could give this a more descriptive title. So we can just double click the title and we could include, for example, the period, the year, the quarter, we could say it sales by region. And so that's how we can update the title to be a more descriptive title. And finally, the dot size and dot shape. So what we can do is we can just double click, head over to fill in line, head over to marker, click marker options. And now we can use the built in options here. So we have different shapes, we could go with, for example, a triangle, and that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and use a circle. And then we can also update the size as desired. So depending on what you're working on, those are a few formatting options to explore. Now let's go to the next exercise, exercise three. In this exercise, we want to take a look at the difference between a bar chart and a dot plot. So they both kind of show the same thing in this simple example. With a bar chart, the axis begins at zero. And so depending on the values, if there are subtle differences, you may not be able to clearly see those subtle differences. So in this case, we may use a dot plot instead. And that's because the axis does not need to begin at zero. And so it spreads those values out. That way it's a little easier to see those subtle values value differences. And that's how we create and format dot plots. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully this helps. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 